Hey gang, it is time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I've kind of uh, done away with my Facebook. Not completely. I, you know, I'm just not going on as much as I used to. And here's why. I am so sick of seeing all the political ads about the government shutdown about how we got to get Trump out of office, how uh, Trump's going to build a wall. Um, you know, the, 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 old, the old broad who's, who's on the Supreme Court uh, needs to go. I mean, just, it's just post after post after post after post is nothing but political stuff. Now, if this was an election year, which it's not, I can understand it a little bit, but I get so tired of hearing about politics in every way, people coming across the border. Uh, you know, we used to hear about uh, uh, the, the, the Taliban and, and, and ISIS and all these other um, terrorist groups. So what is it? Trump's in office and all of a sudden they just disappear? I, I'm sorry, folks. I just get so sick of seeing it. And every post, every single solitary post, it's like everybody wants to do nothing but post about politics. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of talking about it. Okay? Trump's the president. Whatever he's going to do, he's going to do. He can't do a whole lot because our Congress is divided. They're shutting the government down. Who fucking cares? A lot of my friends on Facebook probably won't see this because I'm not even going to go on Facebook to post it on the video of the day. I mean, unless one of you takes it and pulls it off and puts it on the video of the day or puts it on your page. That's how bad it is, folks. I just, I don't want to hear it. I don't. You know, um, I'm so discouraged as to where this country is going and it just doesn't matter anymore. Um, Facebook has become a dumping ground for whatever people think. Like the video about, um, I'm sorry, the guy who said, it's not sir, it's ma'am. No, I'm looking at you. You're a guy. Okay, you're a guy in drag. Okay, just because Clay... <laughs> Where is it? Here <laughs> Just because Klinger put on a dress, it didn't make him a woman. That wasn't a ma'am. Even though, even though you know, in in some of the scenes at Mash, the the wounded would say, "Excuse me, ma'am," because he was dressed in a dress with a nurse's cap on. He turned around, and go, "Yes." <laughs> he wasn't a woman. Just because he put a dress on. And just because you wear women's clothes, and just because you put makeup on, and just because you grow your hair long, that doesn't make you a woman. It makes you a guy in drag. <laughs> it's funny, you never see women dressing up as guys. That's not hard to do. You know, put on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. I've seen women do that before. But they're still women. Can you hear that? I think the guy, I think the guy next door... Wow, that sounds bright. I think the guy next door has, a, has an Xbox or some kind of game system. And every time he hits a new level, it goes... Sounds like, it sounds like they're getting ready to start a rock song. I, I was laying here yesterday in the back sleeping. Somebody pulled in next to me and just had their music blaring. You know, to the point, to the point where I'm laying back here, I'm asleep. I got woke up and I could almost understand the words to the song. Almost. Except for it was, you can't understand them anyway, you know. And I, I finally, I laid here for probably, I don't know, half an hour thinking, you know, they'll realize it's a little loud. They'll shut it off. Or, you know, or they'll leave. You know, maybe they're just taking their half hour break. After about a half an hour or so, I got up. I put my clothes on. I yanked my curtain back. I got out and I looked up and there was somebody sitting in the cab. And I went, can you turn it down? 
I'm trying to sleep. And they're like, and then they turned it down. But it's like, no apology, nothing. You know, if you're a truck driver and you're watching this, you go into a truck stop, even if it's in the middle of the day, if there's a truck parked there and his curtains are pulled, then there's a good chance he's probably a night driver and he might be asleep, or she might be asleep. So maybe have the common courtesy to turn your radio down and not stand out in the, in the parking lot and yell at the guy five five parking spaces down. Pulled in here, um, of course last night was my night off, and I pulled in here Monday morning after my late run. I hate it when I get late runs. Where I got runs where I got to be at the store at like 5 and 6 in the morning or later, you know, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Because nine chances I tell them I have to deal with vendors. Okay? And I'm gonna have to wait for the for the bread truck to get out of the way. I'm gonna have to wait for the milk truck to get out of the way. Or the Pepsi driver, the beer driver, whatever. I'm gonna have to wait for them to get out of the way before I can back in and I can unload my stuff. At some places. there's there's some people that'll say, You gotta move. Um, Perryville, Perryville, Missouri. They'll come out and they'll tell the guy, You gotta move. He's got he's got our meat and produce, he's he's our truck. You gotta move. <laughs> I seen him do it. But, um, where was I going with that? <laughs> anyway, I got back here, and, uh, I came in, and, you know, I did all my stuff and dropped my trailer and yada, yada, yada. And I got back here to the parking area, and there was no park. There was one parking spot, actually. It was down on the other end in the corner, which I love parking there. You know, it's secluded. You back in it. What it is, it's got a, it's got a, a, a 90 degree angle. For the corner there. It's got a parking space here and a parking space here. But what I can do is if there's two trucks parked there and they're parked there correctly, I can back in between them into the into the 90 degree you get the 90 degree square. I can park in here. Okay, so they got the 90 degree square here, and I can park in this area at an angle. And it's secluded, it's away from everybody, I can worry about nothing. I like the one over here too, which is by the smoking, the smoking garage. I back in there. And I can I can back it at an angle there, and uh, I like parking in one of those spots. But that spot was taken up. That one, the guys were parked all screwy, so I couldn't get in between them. But there was a parking spot there. There was another one over behind the fuel island, which basically the wall is here for the fuel island. Your parking space is here, and you if if there's a truck next to you, you're gonna have to pull up, back up, pull up, back up, pull up in order to get out so I don't park there there was a parking space over here on this side where the trucks come through the fuel island they come around this way to go out I don't park there because if they swing it too wide they're going to hit your truck and they did it to me with my other truck uh, probably about 6-8 months ago I was nosed into my parking spot for that particular reason and they ended up hitting the back of my truck and screwing up my mud flap what are you going to do but in any event <laughs> I'm going to run back out tonight. God only knows where they're going to send me. Sometimes I, I wonder if they know. In any event, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, it's Tuesday morning at like, I don't know what time in the morning. It's it's early in the morning, 8, 9 o'clock, something like that. And uh, I'm going to get this together and I'm going to put it on YouTube. And like I said, if you want to, if you want to post it on your Facebook page and get it out there, like I like I wish you guys would all do anyway, um, go ahead and feel free to do that. You just you hit the button with a little with a little arrow on it that's curved, and you can share it, and uh, you just copy the link, and then you go to your Facebook page and you paste the link in there and and share it. Let everybody know that Greg the Crazy Trucker is out here. Um, just because he's not on Facebook doesn't mean that. You know, he's he's gone completely. So <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up, get it together, put it on for you. Remember, like, comment, share this video like I was just saying. And until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, See ya!